Hello everybody, welcome to my very first £2 coin hunt. Yeah, I've never done a £2 coin hunt before. There's £500 worth of £2 coins. There's a brand new album to put anything in if I find any commemoratives. Right, not a lot of information on there. 24th of June, uh, T41 is that. This is from a bank in uh, Bedfordshire. Okay, it's now 20 minutes later and I've finally found the scissors. Let's cut that down there. Sip them out. Right, let's see what we've got. I can't be bothered to count them. For that. Let's go. All right, let me just move this tripod down a bit. Come on. Down you go. That's better. Move it over there. And grab the first bag. I know for well I'm going to have one for the book because I've got the uh, technologies there and everything else. So whatever the very first coin is, it's going in the book. All my inserts there. Look. Got them from Elijah. Lovely. Right, let's go. Right, oh, look at that. First one is a Dickens, Charles Dickens. I did a video about all these um, stories and novels on the on the front there that make up the design, and I'll put the link up the top there if you want to go and have a look at it. That is the very first one. So I'm going to put that in the book right now. Okay, where is he? There he is. Uh, 8,190,000 of those. Uh, I'll leave the inserts in for now, I think. And there we are. Lovely, very first one. Okay, let's carry on. I'll put the, the shiniest um, technologies one I can find at the front there. I won't do it yet, though. Till the end to put the rest in. Oh, I think I'll send that one. Well, it was a good start. I think again. got something. Richard Trevithick. It's 200 years of the steam engine. I like that design. Put that down there. Put it in later. Yep, my very first two pound coin hunt this is. Never done one before. So well, at least I know I'm going to get a few for the book. Well, <laughs> there we go. I'll have a look through these technologies later, see if there's any uh, rotation errors or anything like that. Oh, we've got a St. Paul's. St. Paul's Cathedral. 1945-2005. 60 year anniversary of the end of World War II. Not a very good condition one, but uh, well, at least it's another find. Come on. Be kind to me on my first hunt. Oh, there's a Florence Nightingale. 1820 to 1910, so as this is a 2010, 100th anniversary of her death. It's another one, at least. Shiny one there, and it was a skull, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Shakespeare's Tragedies. These must have been recently released because they're so shiny. They're definitely not 2016 release. But very nice. I want to check the edge. Yeah, a piece of work is a man. That's it. lovely. Oh, 
There's a Marconi. Why is it Marconi you say he's not British? He's Italian, but it is to do with the transmission of radio waves from uh, Cornwall to uh, Canada, wasn't it? Newfoundland in Canada. And there's the uh, radio waves there. I think they're, are they transmitters, those long things? Around the edge we've got the um, wavelength of the radios. And in the date, 2001, there's a little spark that generates the um, electricity to fire off the radio waves. I like that design. The more you look at it, the more you find in there. Very nice. Oh, and there's a Britannia. Oh, let's see the date. Oh, 16. 16, never mind. 15 is the less common one of these. But, again, it's something for the book. Everything's going to be something for the book. Oh, look at that, Mary Rose. Oh, I wouldn't expect you to find that in my first hunt. Very nice. One of my favourite £2 coin designs there from 2011. Cracker. And we need some Commonwealth, please. Commonwealth Games. Preferably Northern Ireland. Oh, there's an Army Centenary. The thing is with this army centenary, I don't think the relief, I don't think it's been punched deep enough. It's almost like a weak strike. Do you know what I mean? It's it's very thin and I think that'll wear very quickly. But nice design otherwise. Another St Paul's Cathedral. Not really much uh, better than the other one, is it really? Uh, nothing else. Nope. Oh, there's a Brunel's Arches, but pretty bad condition, that one. Mm. <clears throat> Put it down there anyway for now. Very common, so we, we might find another one. And there's another Florence Nightingale. It's two of those now. Where is it? Mm -hmm. There, right in front of me. Nope. Either not seal bags. I've never had any seal bags. Not even fifty p's either. Never had seal bags. All rolly over bags all the time. Uh, 
Now that's, oh, that's probably the best condition of the three so far I've found. Oh, that's the one for the book so far. Oh, there's an act of union. Scotland and England. 1707. And the four pieces of the jigsaw there. Another one. Let's move them up a bit. Fit in the picture. And... Shiny one. Could it be? It's another skull, another Shakespeare's tragedies. Piece of work is a man. What a piece of work is a man. Is that a real one? Could it be a first forgery? It looks a bit odd. Hmm, does look a bit odd, doesn't it, that one? That could be a forgery. I'll go there for now. Ah, there's another Brunel's Arches. Arches at Paddington Station. Achievements of Isambard Kingdom Brunel. It's a better condition than the first one I found. Brunel's arches. Nothing else. I don't know how regularly I'll do two pound coin hunts, but uh, probably more regularly than I've done so far, which is none. <laughs> and other St. Paul's. Come on, let's have some of the scarce ones. None of the Brunel's arches. There's a Lord Kitchener, anniversary of the start of World War One in 1914, 2014, and if it doesn't have the word two pounds on the back there, underneath the Queen's neck, it's a mule. It means it's got the wrong back on it, but the wrong um, obverse on it, or the wrong reverse on the R, oh, you know what I mean. I don't know if anybody's seen one yet, whether it's just an urban myth, I don't know. I've never even seen a picture of one or heard of anybody who's seen one yet, so it might be just a rumour. Another Charles Dickens. Yeah, I urge you again, if you haven't seen my video, I'll put a link up there again of this. All the novels and stories by Charles Dickens. What's written on that there coin? Where is he? Oh, I put him in the book, didn't I? So I haven't got another one of those yet. Oh, that's London Underground, the round door. Nice, 1863 to 2013, 150 years of the London Underground. That's a nice one to find. Now I'm going to have to move this up a bit, aren't I? And squeeze that under there. There we go. Nice one, that. Yeah. 
surely there's a Commonwealth Games in here somewhere. I'll take the commonest one. Magna Carta 1215 to 2015 and that's got a quill error because there's King John and he's got a quill in his hand there's no way he would have signed that Magna Carta you know he would have stamped it with a royal seal it would not have had a king's signature on it so that's a quill error Well, that's the shiniest um, technology, so that one, that one can go in the book. I'll put that one in the book. Another St. Paul's. Golden Guinea, not the best condition. We have a grubby one, but still, it's a new one. Put it in the book, and let's find a better one. It when they they're all the same way round it's as if they've been looked at don't you think and they've been searched at the bank all the same way round hmm it's a bit suspicious that isn't it all technologies as well <clears throat> Bags a bit different. Is that a real one? Mm -hmm. Put that down there. And that is the very last going, and that's it. So that's the finds from today. The finds from my very first two pound coin hunt. Right, I know what I can do now. Okay, I found these two coins, which I think are forgeries. This one definitely is. Not too sure about that one now. That could be right, actually. But let's do the magnet test. Not magnetic. Look at that. Definite forgery, without a shadow of a doubt. Iron in it. There's a good way of telling forgeries. They've got iron in them. Look at that. Definite forgery. On one way to, you can't, I don't think they've all got iron in, but most of the forgeries they're made on the cheap, so they just use iron mixed with um, some other base metals. Look at that. And none of these others, obviously, are going to be magnetic. But that is a good way of finding out. It's not 100%, but it does work on look at that, a lot of them. There we go, I'm going to keep that one because it's my first one. But if I find any more in any other hunts, I'm going to take them back to the bank and ask them why they're selling me counterfeit coins. So I should get my money straight back then, I should think. 
Right, I've gone through all these with the magnet and there's no more there, but can you see our little fake? There it is. Got it, there it is. I might get one of those really heavy duty fishing magnets and that'll fish out every tiny little bit of ferrous in the, any every tiny little bit of iron in the coins and uh, any slight fakes, any better fakes, it should be able to pick them out as well because there's always going to be iron in a fake. And there's the book, got a few in there. Didn't get any of the Commonwealth games, which is a shame. Uh, but I ate my first hunt. Not too bad, I suppose, in the first hunt. Nice getting the Mary Rose. Uh, didn't get the Great Fire of London, though. Okay, that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Um, please click that subscribe button for me and click the like button and I appreciate it enormously, enorm enormously, oh Christ. Anyway, see you in the next video. Thank you very much.